Hi, I'm Herrick Kimball, and today in this video I'm going to show you how to cut an elliptical hole so a round pipe can go through a pitched roof. In this instance, it's a chimney pipe, 8 inches outside diameter. I need a 2 inch airspace all the way around it, so I actually need a 12 inch diameter hole through my roof for this pipe. Now if the roof were flat, this 12 inch diameter circle would do it. And this actually came from the ceiling below where I'm going to cut the hole in the roof. But as the roof inclines, as the pitch of the roof changes, the shape of the hole changes. It needs to become more elongated. It becomes an ellipse. So that ellipse size depends on your diameter that you want, and it depends on the pitch of the roof. I'm going to use a framing square and a few other tools, just on the job site, nothing special, and I'm going to use the information that I learned many years ago in this dog-eared and worn old book, The Steel Square, which was originally published in 1957. I'll see if it's available on Amazon and put a link below if it is. So let's get into this. All right, we begin with a piece of scrap paper or cardboard. I've got some heavy protective uh, floor paper here and the square. Draw a line like so on your square, on your paper, using your square on the paper, I should say. Mark over 12 inches here. Now, that's always 12 inches. Next, you want the pitch of your roof marked on here. In this case, I have a 612 pitch. I'm not marking on inside now, I'm marking on the outside. I come up six inches, that's right there. Now, I'm gonna take the square and connect those two marks, just like so. Now, I wanna know the diameter of my pipe. The, whole, the diameter is eight inches, but the hole needs to be 12 inches. So, I need the radius and the radius of, of uh, 12 inches is six. So I'm gonna mark six inches from here over to here. And there it is. That's uh, six inches, half of the diameter of the hole I wanna make. Now, take the frame and square, align the bottom on your bottom line there, and mark a line up. Then, measure this distance from here to here. It's six and three quarters. Now, those are the two dimensions that are needed. And in the book, I'll go by what the book says, they call this dimension A, and this is dimension B. So six inches here for A, six and three quarter inches for B. Got the information I need now to make a trammel. This right here is my trammel, very simple. Just a, a stick of wood and three holes drilled in the wood. This hole is just any distance that's convenient from the end. That's the first hole. That's where I'm gonna put my pencil when I make the ellipse using the framing square. Now, this distance from here to, you have to drill two more holes. This distance from here to here is six and three quarters inches. This is the B dimension. From here to the farthest hole, uh, that doesn't look like a hole, there's a nail in there, but there I drilled a hole, six and three quarter. The six inch A dimension is here, six inches, here to here. I took roofing nails, cut them off with these pliers, pushed them into the holes, and have this hole so that the point of the pencil comes through just a little. And now I'm ready to make the ellipse using the framing square. So I'm back to this drawing here. This will work. I'm going to extend the bottom line over a ways. That will be helpful. Then I'm going to put the framing square right back in place where it was here, lined up with my horizontal and vertical line. Now that's not gonna move, that's gonna stay right there. And what's going to move is this trammel. And the concept is that these two pins will uh, key onto the bottom pin on the bottom of the square here. And this upper pin right here 
on the upright. Here we go. Start up here. It's a little bit of a trick to coordinate yourself to do this, but not that bad. Now there you go. That's it. I'll hand draw this right here. That is one quarter of the ellipse. Next, I'm going to take, I could take a, a knife and cut that, or I could use these tin snips right here and cut that one quarter ellipse out. What I'm gonna do is make a template with the cardboard that I can take up on my roof. I'm waiting for the sun to come off that side of the roof before I go up there, but I have this long drill bit and I'm going to drill a hole from inside the house directly in the center of where that chimney's going. Okay, here's my cardboard template material. I'm going to strike a square, uh, two intersecting square lines. This is somewhat arbitrary. And then I'm going to uh, square off this way. Right about there looks right. And right about there looks right. This here will, of course, be the center of my chimney. And so now we just take our ellipse pattern here and draw it out like so. The four quarters. Now, if this pipe were in a steeper pitched roof, this would be longer. I'd put a three and a half inch pipe once through a 16, 12 pitch roof and it had to be finished on the inside. I mean, it was, there's nothing to cover it up. Had to be, had to be perfect. And um, I did it with this technique here. So now I'm going to cut this, cut this out. All righty. There it is, the ellipse for 12 inches going through a 612 pitch. I'll put that on the roof, trace it, cut out the plywood, and uh, mission accomplished.